Hello everybody, my name is Louis and welcome back to Xbox Live Gamer Hub. Today we will be taking a look at Stardew Valley, the agricultural Harvest Moon-esque RPG, developed by Concerned Ape and published by Chucklefish. So November of 2016 was jam-packed with some great AAA titles, and sometimes it can be easy to miss some fantastic indie titles, and Stardew Valley is just that, fantastic. So in Stardew Valley the story is that you have inherited your grandfather's old farm, and it's certainly seen better days. So with a set of hand-me-down tools, you get to work to bring the farm back to its former glory. Meeting a great cast of characters along the way as you dive into mines, forage through forests, fish in open waters and deal with dangerous enemies. Stardew Valley is rich, therapeutic, heartwarming and bursting with content that will have you occupied until the early hours of the morning. Starting my own adventure and I was prompt to make my own character. I made him look as west country as possible, choosing the right clothes for the job, entered in some details and I was ready to farm. The first cutscene of the game shows you receiving a letter from your grandfather who looks to be on his deathbed. Being told not to open until you need a new lease on life, you head back to your regular 9 to 5 job. Years pass by and you're ready to snap. You then open the letter to be told that you have inherited your grandfather's farm up in Stardew Valley and you head there immediately, only to get there and see it in ruins. You're introduced to the local carpenter Robin and the town's mayor, Lewis. From here on out, what you do is entirely up to you. Start clearing the farm, head in town to meet the locals or explore the land. Looking at the farm and straight away my OCD kicked in. I spent the first few days clearing away the wood, rock and grass. In each action you do, be it chopping wood, scything grass or breaking rocks, will deplete your energy bar. If this gets low, you will need to sleep. Or if you leave it to run dry completely, you will pass out and you'll be put to bed by the local doctor. This will involve a medical bill, so keep on your toes. Alternatively, you can eat something. Every piece of edible food you grow, find or craft will restore your health or energy. Early in the game, you will have the ability to craft a field snack. These are made by using a seed from each of the three types of trees in the game, and can be a true lifesaver when you're hard at work. The crafting menu and hotbar are easy to navigate, and I never found myself being lost to trying to figure out how to do something. Recipes for more advanced items will appear after leveling up or when you have got the required ingredients to make it. The items which you unlock will usually correspond to which skill you leveled up in. These skills are farming, mining, foraging, fishing and combat. The pace in which you level up these skills are entirely up to you. I know people who have almost maxed out farming and have almost never fished. Go at your own pace. On to crops. And the first thing to remember is that Stardew Valley has four seasons. Each season has 28 days and only certain crops will grow in certain seasons. Pierre who went to the local shop in town will only sell seeds that will grow in that current season. So be sure to read the description of each seed so you know how long they will take to mature. And make sure you don't overlap your crops into the new season or they will die. Till the land using your hoe and plant the seeds, it's as easy as that. Every morning it is important to water your crops using your watering can. This is a pretty mundane task to begin with but it pays off when you finally see your field blooming with life. What you do with your yield is entirely up to you. You can sell them straight away using the big storage bin next to your farmhouse. Simply put whatever you want to sell in there and overnight, the mayor of the town will creepily take your items away and leave you a cash sum to do with as you please. Alternatively, you can make jams or pickles from your newly grown vegetables or fruits, providing you have crafted the machines necessary to do so, and you can sell them for a pretty high price. Make sure you craft a scarecrow to scare away any of the local winged thieves. I've lost many a crop to the local wildlife. If livestock is more your idea of farming, you will first need the materials to build them a home. Robin, who you met at the beginning of the game, is the town's local carpenter and builder. Go to a shop north of the town and bring her the materials she requires to build the abode you need. This usually means wood, stone and a sum of gold. A quest early on in the game is to build a chicken coop, so start with that. After paying Robin and bringing her the materials she needs, you will be able to choose where on your farm you want it placed. She will then get to work, taking about three days to complete. When you need livestock, head south of your farm to the ranch and purchase a few chickens for around 800 gold each. These little guys are easier to care for and produce eggs every morning if they are fed and happy. To keep them happy, make sure they have plenty to eat, either hay or uncut grass. And be sure to open the front of the coop in the morning so they can roam free on the farm. I personally enclosed the coop in a fenced area and made sure I filled it with grass. You can buy grass starter from the general store if the chickens have eaten it all. And eggs are a great source of energy eat them raw, or you can make them into mayonnaise that sells for a very healthy sum. 
Mining is a great way to get raw materials for building, crafting, selling, or donating to the local museum for frequent rewards. Remember to take plenty of food with you to restore health and energy and a trusty blade as this is where most of the monsters of Stardew Valley like to hang out. You'll receive a sword from a skilled adventurer upon first entering the mine north of the town. Remember to consult your map if you're ever lost. Every five levels that you advance in the mines will allow you to travel to that level next time you decide to go mining, using the lift at the entrance of the mine so you don't need to start from the beginning every time. To find the next level of the mine, the staircase will be hidden either under an enemy or a rock, so kill and mine as much as you can. Foraging is levelled up by chopping wood obtained from trees and finding naturally grown produce scattered across Stardew Valley. Just like crops, these are seasonal. Again, you can sell, eat, keep or craft these into a variety of different items, so it's always best to take a day off and explore the world. Fishing is a great way to bring in a few gold coins. Early in the game you will receive a letter to go meet the fisherman at the beach. Here he will give you his old fishing rod, and your angling career can blossom from here. Fishing is a mini game much like to the recent Final Fantasy XV, but much simpler, but in no way less addictive. You can lose many hours fishing in the sea, and it will even keep record of the sizes and species of fish you have caught in the past. You can sell your catches to the fishermen or store them at home to use in recipes. Your farm is where you will spend most of your time, and of course you can make the farm look however you want. Using craftable paths, walls, fences, the farm truly is your own. You can even upgrade your farmhouse with a kitchen and extra rooms, filling it with furniture and decor to suit your style. Just like all your other building needs, visit Robin to inquire about house upgrades. There are so many wonderful things in Stardew Valley that there's not much else I want to say. Part of the charm in this game is discovery, and Stardew Valley oozes with it. The farming is rewarding, the combat solid, the gameplay addictive, and the story heartwarming. My only issue with the game is that I didn't play it sooner. Do yourselves a favour and purchase one of the best indie titles 2016 had to offer. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.